Commercial Resupply Service Mission for NASA, Orbital ATK's Cygnus spacecraft will be launched by an Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida to deliver cargo to the International Space Station. On this mission, Cygnus will deliver over 3,500 kilograms or more than 7,700 pounds of cargo to the space station and will remain there for approximately two months during which time the crew will unload the supplies from Cygnus and fill it with disposal cargo. At the end of the mission, Cygnus will depart the orbiting laboratory and safely re-enter the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. The Cygnus spacecraft is comprised of two modules. The pressurized cargo module, or PCM, houses the cargo that is delivered to the space station. The service module, or SM, houses the power subsystem the avionics, the propulsion system, and the rest of the housekeeping hardware that allows Cygnus to fly. The cargo module was built by Talis Alenia Space in Italy. The service module was assembled at Orbital ATK's Dulles, Virginia facility. Both arrived at the Kennedy Space Center in January. The majority of the cargo was loaded into the PCM in late January, and the two modules were mated in early February creating the complete Cygnus spacecraft. Cygnus was then fueled for its mission. The last remaining cargo was loaded, and the spacecraft was prepared for launch. The OA-6 mission employs the enhanced configuration of Cygnus, which allows for the transport of more cargo than the standard Cygnus spacecraft used in its initial mission. It also has a lighter weight service module, featuring Orbital ATK Ultraflex Solar Arrays, new technology solar arrays developed at the company's Galita, California facility. Orbital ATK is proud to serve NASA's space station cargo resupply needs on the OA-6 mission. We look forward to the continued delivery of supplies and scientific experiments to the crew on the International Space Station. NASA continues its vital mission into the next decade.